happy weekend my dear crystal lovers welcome and welcome back if you are new here my name is am and i am the founder of abuwi today i'm taking you on yet another crystal related tourist trip it's uh, summer here in copenhagen actually it's a bit of a heat wave so if i look uh, exceptionally glossy today that's why i, I really don't want to put a lot of stuff on my face today but um, just as much to look a little bit representable but it is so warm here and it feels like actually everybody has left the city gone to the oceans gone to the summer houses go, gone to the parents uh, houses or whatever or also like it feels like everybody is in italy but it feels like that every year so we've been doing a bunch of stuff that we don't usually have time to do here in Copenhagen and it's nice that there's not these huge crowds. So one of the things that I did was that I went to a garden show with my mom. I did uh, talk to a small handful of organic farmers and young people who were saving seeds and who specialized in really good plants for this climate. So that was really exciting and I'm going to show you some of the plants and seeds when we come back to the plant house. Copenhagen really is a green city. There are so many like both gardens but also these wild areas with wildflowers and just trees and nature doing its own thing. And we've been exploring some of these more sustainable options in the city. And we've been really enjoying it. Also little cafes, eco-friendly cafes that we hadn't had time to visit. Today I'm taking you on another tourist trip. And of course this is not sponsored or gifted or anything like that. We're just regular tourists doing our thing. The planetarium is a museum and a movie theater all about space and planets and asteroids and the earth and uh, I actually worked there for a hot minute when I went to IT University. So we're going there today and uh, there are two things that I really want to show you. One is a moonstone, an actual moonstone, so a rock from the moon. It was collected by the Apollo 17 mission back in 1972. And that was actually the last time that a human was on the moon, as far as we know. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, but if you haven't seen a moonstone, I definitely wanted to show you that. And I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure that there are quite a bit of crystal inclusions in this moonstone. So I want to explore that a little bit further today. The other thing that I want to show you is a huge meteorite and um, this one was found in Greenland and I was thinking maybe I should tell you a little bit about the terminology because there, there's a lot of, uh, of these terms floating around so just if you don't know. Asteroids are these small and enormous rocks that are floating around in space. When an asteroid enters into our atmosphere. That's when we call it a meteor. When this meteor hits the Earth, that's what we call a meteorite. So it's actually the same thing, just in different locations. And you know, asteroids can be um, different kinds of rock material, metal, sometimes it's ice. And um, yeah, it's actually really, really exciting. I love meteorites. I'm not going to go too much into the metaphysical stuff. I actually want to stick a little bit more to, to the science in this video. But we do have a meteorite here at home. And this one, and it's actually pretty cool. This was one that I gave to Anga a while back and he loves it so much. It's, uh, it's magnetic and this one is from an impact that happened in Russia 
a really long time ago. I actually don't remember the date, but I have all of the the paperwork. But I I thought it was so cool. You can't really wear these as jewelry because that was the thir first thing that I was thinking. I was thinking, could I make this into a, a necklace or something, a piece of jewelry? There's a lot, quite a lot of nickel in in these meteorites, so they don't recommend that you use it as a as a piece of jewelry directly on the skin. Obviously, meteorites have had a huge impact on life here on Earth on a very physical level. And uh, yeah, that's some of the things that we're going to explore today. So I hope you are up for this. We're going to have so much fun. morning it is the next day and we are back home and um, we just had the best time at the planetarium as we expected there wasn't much to film or to show you because most of it is actually a movie theater it's an omnimax movie theater where you get like um, i don't know what you would call it but it's like a round screen <laughs> which gives a, a really special experience. So something that I've noticed when we were, before we became parents, when we were out traveling, Andreas and I, we, of course, we visited so many, many museums all around the world to get inspiration for our work and when we went to school. Not just design and art museums, but all kinds of museums. And one thing that's a little bit funny and peculiar about Danish museums and I think actually Scandinavian museums is that even though it's not an art museum or a design museum, there's almost always some kind of artistic installation or some kind of artistic interpretation of the subject. And in this case with the planetarium, there was an installation made of glass and ceramic that was an interpretation of the rings of Saturn. And I was just going around thinking because of, this is a high level of academia, the people who work there are astrophysicists and scientists, but there's always in Danish museums some kind of artistic angle on everything. So unfortunately, I didn't get to take a lot of great photos of the moonstone or the moon rock because uh, it was completely enclosed and behind glass, of course. So yeah, it wasn't really an option, but I hope you can bear with me and just, uh, I got a few images. The museum had two meteorites. I actually thought they only had the big one from Greenland, but there was also a pretty substantial one from Arizona too. And, uh, and they're really interesting to look at and so sculptural and so beautiful and something that I would love to work more with. I've talked to some, some dealers in France, but you have to have a pretty big budget to deal meteorites but they are so amazing um, yeah, for so many reasons, scientifically and metaphysically. Very, very interesting um, to work with. Another thing that they had was uh, these pieces of carbon. A lot of the exhibition was all about how we are all and everything is all made out of stardust and atoms. 
and um, how it has all collected together. Um, very philosophical, actually, a very, um, I guess, convoluted way of conveying this information. So that was really beautiful, and Anga, he absolutely enjoyed it. But, um, um, but they did have a few different specimens of materials, and I wish they had had much more, but they had a few carbon pieces. And carbon is so interesting because, of course, the human body is mostly carbon, and uh, diamonds are carbon. A lot of the things that are all around us is made of, of carbon. So it's a very interesting material and it's definitely something that I also would really love to go further with with, uh, with AVUV. But I haven't come across it too much. And the carbon, like raw carbon, is not necessarily aesthetically pleasing and beautiful, but I just think it's such a such an interesting material. Today is another day and we are on this very touristy streak at the moment. It is summer and um, we do want to enjoy ourselves. Still quite warm but a little bit cooler today outside. It's uh, supposed to be clouded which is lovely. And um, we're going to Tiuli today. Tiuli is a garden and a park and also an amusement park and it's right in the center of Copenhagen. It's been there for I think almost 180 years so it's a really old park and it was um, the inspiration for the Walt Disney Parks. So we're going there today because we are having lunch at a restaurant called Gemüse and it is a vegetarian and I think maybe even vegan restaurant and also an organic restaurant and a lot of our fine dining here in Copenhagen is actually situated in Tiuli so it's always like such a pleasure going there for for lunch or dinner but I just wanted to show you briefly our day today because I love it when um, luxury and beauty and sustainability is combined and I have high hopes for this restaurant and I think it's going to be lovely. I'm not going to post a lot of food things on this channel because that's not what it's all about but I do want to show you guys whenever I find something that is good and luxurious and sustainable. So I'll leave you with a few images of our trip today. And I just want to wish you the most wonderful summer and the most wonderful weekend with so much love to you and to yours. Mm -hmm.